viewing time at the zoo. Glad to see you hold the president in such high esteem. Your day's gonna come, laughing boy. Let's go. Let's give her some privacy. Everybody out. Let's go back to the wardroom and we'll uh, talk about the business of how we proceed from here. Thank you all for coming. I have a statement I'd like to make. The attempted military coup against the lawful government of the colonies is illegal, ill-advised, and clearly doomed to failure. I have not resigned the presidency, and I will fight this action with everything at my command. She's screwed. She's not. She, she thinks she's a prophet or some such nonsense. Just hold well, on, go ahead and ask her. Ask her. She'll tell you. Just listen to her. Well, what was it? Uh, the uh, the arrow of Apollo will uh, open the tomb of Artemis or some such nonsense. Everything I have done is consistent, logical. We have found Koval. We have found the city of the gods. And when we retrieve the arrow, we will open the tomb of Athena, and we will find the road to Earth. Madam President. Have you read the scrolls of Pythia? Carefully and many times. And I humbly believe that I am fulfilling the role of the leader. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Everybody out. I don't think so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sarah, you represent Gemini. You know more about the scrolls and the scriptures than anybody else here. Why don't you speak up? The scrolls tell us that a dying leader will lead us to salvation. Oh, she's not dying. She's crazy. I am dying. I have terminal breast cancer. Dr. Cottle will verify the diagnosis. I have a few months to live. And in that time, I will lead the people to salvation. It is my sole purpose. Praise be to the gods. Here is our salvation. Sergeant of the Guard, yes, sir. remove these people from the break and escort them back to their shuttle. Get your hands off. That's our leader. We can't break down. She's a man. Don't do 